So I had originally made a video of a degree in the cam on this medium riser and uh, it came out to like 102 or 101. Um, as I've been getting the heads ready and I got flow numbers on the heads, um, I am going to make a change to the cam timing. I'm going to go ahead and Try to get it to like between 105 and 107 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead of being in the advanced position with this keyway I'm going to put it in the straight up position and use this offset key. This is something that my dad made. I believe you can buy them that way too but this is what you used before you know all the fancy timing chains and stuff they have now came along. So we're going to put this in and change it up just a little bit. Take advantage of the good airflow that we got. <clears throat> All right. So we did put in our offset keyway here and uh, we're just going to go ahead and tighten up this camshaft. So one thing that my my dad figured out, we used to do a lot of circle track racing, and uh, you know we noticed that we'd put the engines together, and we'd put the engines together and go out on the track, and they'd run real great, but after a while they'd kind of lay down a little bit. So what we started to do is we, when we took them apart, we would degree the cams again. And we kind of noticed that the cam timing was changing as the engines was, were running. So what my dad decided to start doing was when we put the cam in and tighten it up, I'm going to put the engine into a bind a little bit. Not a lot, but just enough to where it's, this stuff's all, this isn't really that tight. And all this stuff is backed off a little bit. So you're tight over here and there's some slack over here. A little bit of slack, very tight. So we do that. And... We'd go ahead and just torque the, put the cam in and torque it like that. And that way this thing's already as backed off as far as it's going to get. And then you degree your cam in with it like that. That way it never backs off. <clears throat> so now we're going to See where our cam is again. Right about there.
put it top dead center. Go ahead and put our degree wheel on. down here piston stop This here is just going to verify that we put top dead center in the right spot. So we're going to come up. Forty and a half. Forty and a half. So that's good. We'll get rid of this. Push rod here somewhere. Oh, is it a push rod?
right. We are at 148. Sixty sixty-three. One forty-eight and sixty-three. Two eleven. One oh five point five. So that's I wasn't figuring on those on our those are just stock Ford medium riser heads. I wasn't figuring on them flowing as good as they did I think it's like somewhere around 310 or 315 or something um, I was expecting them to be around 280 you know but that's a lot better than what I thought mainly because the valve job that we put in there it does quite a bit to make those heads flow so that's so this is all done all i'm going to do now is check the piston to valve clearance and we're going to button this thing up mm -hmm. 